And then Mary. No? Yes? All right, hi everyone. I will make a very short presentation to respect your time. So I agree with Jabba that first, like revolutions needed, and one that I'm really interested about is green revolution and how, for children, like school gardening can really help by introducing environment, uh, biology, diets, and a lot of good things to children, also emotional things. So, for example, like when you go to a school, you can start like investing the whole school environment and trying to make plants grow. To take the kids to there, like make like them understand how it grows, how good it can be, how good it tastes, and there's so wonderful, like so many wonderful things happening with that, and it's a really nice experience. So I've been like looking at these things a lot, like in this last like year, I guess, and it's something that I think very inspiring. And the research has shown that it's very good for the kids, so it's a really interesting thing. But lately, I've been speaking with a lot of teachers, like uh, who tell me like during the holidays, for example, the plants basically nobody can take care of them. So how do they survive? Generally, like it's a moment where the garden is dying, or like especially during the summer holidays, so the garden dies, and dies. Well, it's the end of its cycle, let's say. And it's a problem because like the next year, like to find the motivation to start again, like is not easy for everyone, including for the children who go through like this kind of challenge. And recently, I've also discovered this like, I guess like how you can use like technology into education, and including like programming and coding. And there's been this like new tools that are in more and more schools. They are like basically using the sunlight, using like the humidity, using all these sensors to like see, like to for children to experience things and program stuff. And I think that's a great way to actually introduce like programming, like teacher like in computer programming with school gardening, give it like a very concrete like sense. For example, before you go to the holidays, you just put this like sensor, you show kids how to do it, it's very simple. Microbit, for example, is a really good way to do it. And you can like use the sunlight or the humidity level of a plant to program something that is going to basically give plant, give uh, water to a plant during the holiday. Mm -hmm. And then the children will come back and will see the plant that is alive. And they will both be very happy about that. The school garden is going to be like thriving. And they will also start discovering the world of like computerizing. Thank you. Thank you.